And I guess I'll attempt a little bit of a reply video to this purple face Todd idiot, racist, and all that kind of stuff. Lots of bad things. Um, anyway, um, so, you know, he's doing a response to my video. It's 43 minutes. He's, he's just not interesting enough for me to watch. And um, the arguments are just so cliche. Uh, been there, heard that kind of crap over and over again. Um, so in the first three minutes, that's what I watched was, uh, yeah, he's giving me a lesson on how, well, people negotiate these contracts for their employment, and so it's their fault if they can only negotiate $10 an hour, um, you know, which is just idiotic. I mean, obviously in a world that doesn't create us equally, um, we're created in very unequal circumstances, um, extortion uh, is the name of the game. Um, desperation exists in the world people do things not because they want to they don't want to write this they don't want to sign the contract they just aren't provide any choices there's no benevolent aliens that show up and say we'll give you a good deal we'll give you a fair deal they have to make deals with people who are making bad deals the godfather owns the town and you have to go through the godfather kind of thing and to call that some sort of fair game it's just ignoring the subject. The subject is should some twat who inherited it, um, you know, have the power chair in the negotiation. And um, you think it's fair that that's the way it works? I think it's completely idiotic. I don't think there's anything in real life you could compare to that. I don't think that's in baseball or any other game we've ever created where we would allow people legacy ownership um, to be there without earning it. And um, that's the subject, and the subject is the waste of the, the rich. So it's the, you know, I've used this metaphor before, but I mean, you look at the pyramids. Look at what Egypt did to itself. Look at what they invested in. Okay, they, the pharaohs, the rich. Um, silly, monuments to waste. Um, not only the wasted labor to build the damn things, um, preposterous death and horror and suffering, um, but the waste of what they could have had instead of pyramids. You could just think about all the things they could have had. So it's like the cathedrals in Europe, you know, to the church. You know, the cathedral would have been running water in people's houses, and they wouldn't be dying of cholera. That would be a monument to your fucking God. Um, but instead they wasted hundreds of years of labor, um, you know, building these monuments to God, um, and it was a waste of resources. It had a real impact on the quality of life of people. And that's the point here. The rich aren't using money from magic trees. They're not using money from Saturn. Their money is made out of the value of labor produced on this planet by the people on this planet. They have to work hard to create the resource. And when the resource is squandered to, to put carrots in front of stupid projects it's wasted money and that's the subject is waste the subject is do the rich spend their money wisely and the clear argument being made is that they not only spend the money they personally spend extravagantly and wastefully on things that socially we don't need that don't benefit most people they only benefit a tiny 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 number of people and are preposterously expensive but they also invest in social infrastructure where they do invest in social infrastructure. They invest in gimmicks and chicanery and small print and connivery and spam phone calls and, uh, you know, ink cartridges with printers attached and rental agreements for operating systems and all kinds of just absolute fucking crap. The blight of our society is created by these greedy fuckers. Uh, that's the clear accusation, and your response is just shit. You know, you, there is no response. Your response is, so what? That's the way it is. Well, I'm saying it doesn't have to be that way if people just think for a tiny millisecond. Let's not be as stupid as Egyptians. <laughs> let's not be as stupid as the Christians of ancient Europe. Yeah, let's grow a brain and invest in each other instead of investing in rich people. Let's do the right thing, you know, and take the one in 10,000 assholes on this planet with way too much money and um, be done with that.
So I'll I'll play it from three whatever. We'll see what else he has to say, and we'll jump around. I guess will be the strategy. I, I have to reload it. This was like three days ago. I posted. I, I uh, listened to some of this two days ago. Whatever it was, I don't know. He does have ads, so I'm gonna have to kill the ad. I forgot about that. He's got 46 views, and he's got ads on his video. I mean, what are you making? Four cents? Two cents? I don't know. So it's worth bludgeoning What's people in the face with ads? I'm happy with the deal he's got over here. Oh, there you go. Uh, creating the corn. He can go somewhere else. He can go somewhere else. And, and if he misses Where? a week, like while well, he's out looking, he can't get that back. So remember that. He knows that. So, so you know this idiotic argument that you have some choices. No, you have to go where the lowest will go. You, you, to 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 be in the competition. Okay, if there's some guy who will work 15 minutes more for you than you for 15 dollars less, you're gonna have to beat him. You're gonna have to beat his bid. So just like, like things get bid up, you're gonna have to, you have to bid down. And and so to sit there and say you go somewhere else, there's no there's no other plant to go to. I have to compete with the Chinese. I have to compete with the Mexicans. And I, what I'm saying is, is obviously I'm just competing with people desperate, and competing with desperation, in my opinion, is an indignity to my humanity. That really, if that's my role to play, fuck you. I'd rather burn your house down. If that's the game you want to play, based on you inherited your privilege. And yeah, I want to burn your house down. These are issues that really, I, I don't think that uh, Gary understands it. Yeah, I don't think you believe that, all right? I just think you're an idiot to sit there and think you can get away with that. You're just a petty, I have it, fuck you, asshole, okay? You're a randy and selfish cunt who has no enlightenment, no conception of what the game is going on here. And it would just be... If I gave you a lie detector test, I don't think there's a chance in fucking hell you could pass the test saying, do you think Gary has heard the inane argument that we all sign contracts for our employment? Do you think Gary heard that inane argument and understands it to be completely ludicrous because guess what, you have to establish a bottom? We know that for people, if, if, we had, if we gave people the opportunity in L.A., if I put up a, if I could legally, okay, uh, make a contest, and say, whoever cuts their arm off first can star in my next movie. You know people are going to be cutting their arms off all over the fucking place, right? You know it. So don't, don't give me this pretense that people are bargaining from some power position. They're bargaining from a desperate position. I mean, it's just idiotic for you to make this argument and think it has any weight to anybody with any fairness any fair-mindedness, any logic to say, oh, we don't need to establish a fair bottom. Nature will establish it. We know the bottom nature establishes. They're called crocodile shithead. The, the weak represents the work of the workers. The wealth the rich people have, they only have because they took it from somebody else's life. No, they pay for the labor. And they <laughs> no, I, I, look, I'm not going to have this argument, all right? The, the focus of the subject is inheritance. So let's understand, they didn't earn it, okay? They were given it to them. It was bestowed upon them for falling out of the right vagina. That's the argument here. It's the, it the context of this entire conversation, okay? It's not the rich that earned it, okay? The rich that didn't earn it is the argument, and I can live with the rich that earned it because there aren't any, <laughs> frankly. I mean, you go, go down the list and there's going to be very few that didn't get it through connections, um, you know, some sort of patronage, you know, I'll hire your son, you hire my son, blah, 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 kind of bullshit. And you goddamn fucking know it. You know, there, there's very few people that have earned it and the rich that have earned it, you know, that have made it, you could say like the Bill Gateses or something, how did they earn it? They earned it through chicanery. I'm going to rent fundamental infrastructure to the human race. Uh, it's like somebody inventing the wheel and then copywriting it and saying, there, everybody pay me for wheels forever because I'm a selfish cunt. And why would I applaud that? Why would I think that was a great human being? No, I would think that was a motherfucking scumbag. And if somebody accidentally ran them over on the street, I would applaud vigorously. For the equipment, and they paid for the land, and they 
They waited for it to... Okay, well, look, there's no point in playing the video, right? I mean, these, these are idiotic premises, okay? If they paid for it, if they worked for it, if they went to work and earned the money, we wouldn't be having this conversation. They didn't go to work and earn the money, okay? They stole the money from other workers. So, again, you just don't pay any attention to the argument here. You're just not on the subject. So this is a waste of my fucking time. So I'm just not going to waste my time. Do better than this. Now deal with the real question, which is their personal indulgent waste. Okay, again, we weren't talking about business investment. We were talking about their personal lifestyle waste. And we're talking about inherited power rather than earned power. Now, if you can't stay on those two subjects, there's no fucking point, because you're not arguing my philosophy. You're arguing somebody else's, retard. Stupid fucking asshole. I mean, really, it's just too irritating to listen to this. It's just This is just so... Fuck you. I mean, really. How many times does this have to be gone over? These are, these are, these are, <clears throat> you know, fifth grade civics, you know, kind of arguments. This is stupid. <laughs> I mean, really. Well, okay. Let's do one more. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I, I mean, four minutes really is, you know. Good for the corn to rise up, and they made sure that it had its nutrients and its water and oh, all... Oh, you know, listen to this. I mean, it's just so... I, I mean, we know what would they do, okay? They import a million people into California every year, okay, to do this watering and this caring for and all this other stuff. at slave fucking wages. So, what are you talking about? They did it. They go out in the field and they water and they go out there and sweat and they go out there and work. That isn't the, the reality. None of these people are doing that. None of the billion, none of the Walmart spawn are doing any of that watering shit. Oh, fuck you. This is too stupid. Too stupid.